Thank you so much. Great information there. Well, an evacuation notice has been issued for parts of Dorchester, Colleton and Berkeley counties. The Edisto River has reached its highest level since 1945. The Edisto River has risen to over 17 feet after Tropical Storm Debbie significantly surpassing the 2015 level of 16.06 feet. Now, here is a map of Dorchester County. Officials are urging residents in the green areas to evacuate. So we've got three zones along the Edisto River, and we've had 46 rescues so far. We're assisting our sister county, Colleton County, closer down to the Colleton County line off of 17A. Then we have a station at Givans that we're running calls, and then we finally have a station at Grover. So between those three, it's allowing us to cover the whole Edisto River, both on the Dorchester County side and again, assisting the Colleton County side. And the Ashley River at Cook Crossroads is also a major concern right now. It was last seen at a record-breaking level of 24.85 feet, surpassing the previous record of 22.7 feet. Neighborhoods near the river, including the Ashboro area and Ashley River Park, are at risk, and officials are advising people to take action if necessary. This major flooding is expected to damage many homes and cause river access roads to be impassable. Well, it's been almost a full week that the low country has been dealing with the impacts of tropical storm Debbie with historic rainfall that we haven't seen in a very long time. And today news 2 went out to different parts of the low country to see how people are dealing with the major flooding. Some saying they're unsure how and when they'll recover. Crushing devastation, tropical storm Debbie taking things people in the low country loved most. It's a house that I waited 35 years yeah, for, and now I won't have it no more. And leaving some with little hope. I've never seen it like this. It's never water running under my house. Everything that I owned on the outside is yeah, floating across the road. The flooding around Dorothy Beach's neighborhood by the Ashley River reaching almost 25 feet, the highest it's ever been. It's awful. That's all I can tell you. It's just terrible what's going on. And the Edisto reaching over 17 feet. Residents anxiously waiting to hear from loved ones that they're okay. I'm worried about my sister and she's got four little small baby dogs. You know what I'm saying? Emergency operations in Dorchester County saying they've had 46 water rescues so far. And not just people, but animals as well. They say they're prepared for more, especially as they've had help from rescue teams in other states joining their effort but they say they want people to leave if they can. We know that this is a really difficult situation and the water is rising fast. And so it's really important for folks to evacuate. As the chief indicated, we've opened shelters. So there are places for people to go and take higher ground. Residents just holding on to life, saying they're okay to lose belongings, but are praying for their loved ones to make it out. Their life's more important than materialistic. You can mm -hmm. always accumulate materialistic again. And like you heard officials say, there are shelters across the low country for people available. We have a list of locations over on our website. That's countonto.com. And we do want to let you know about a few shelters open around our area due to widespread flooding. St. George Middle School in Somerville Community Seventh Day Adventist Church will be open as shelters um, and people should bring bedding, clothes, child care items and pet supplies to the shelter for the amount of time that they plan on staying. 